morning. Today is September 24th, 2019. Right now you're getting a live view of the no Yoshinobu Launch Complex. Sitting on the pad of Site 2 of the Launch Complex is the H-2 trans transfer vehicle called HTV on its eighth mission, HTV-8, sitting on top of an H-2B rocket. You can see the exploded view of the HTV here inside the pressurized logistics carrier is about uh, over 5,000 pounds of cargo, and in the unpressurized segment is just over 3,000 pounds of the lithium-ion batteries and uh, associated adapter plates that'll be part of a series of upgrades uh, to replace lithium-ion, the aging nickel-hydrogen batteries that are on the outside of the station and store the power provided by the station's solar arrays and uh, be replaced with the newer lithium-ion batteries. You can see the exposed pallet is actually accessible once HTV is docked to the International Space Station. It's accessible robotically. Actually, towards the top of this view, you can see where that grapple fixture is, uh, where the robotic arm will actually pull the pallet and the lithium-ion batteries out from the unpressurized logistics module. The avionics and propulsion module will carry the HTV throughout its flight, and on the pressurized logistics carrier, power will be provided by the uh, solar arrays you can see actually throughout the vehicle. That'll provide power throughout its flight over the next four days until it rendezvous this Saturday, early in the morning central time. Again, once it is docked to the International Space Station, we're looking for it to berth to the Nader port of the Harmony module. You can see from this configuration of the space station what it will look like soon. Uh, the HTV-8 at the very forward end on the Earth-facing side towards the bottom. The robotic arm will be able to pull out the um, pallet with the lithium-ion batteries and adapter plates from the unpressurized portion of the vehicle going through some of the flight sequence after liftoff. The uh, solid rocket boosters and that first stage containing liquid fuel uh, will burn for 1 minute 54 seconds until the solid rocket boosters themselves burn out. They'll be jettisoned in pairs. Uh, there's four strap-on boosters divided by solid rocket boosters A and B. They'll separate in pairs about uh, three seconds apart from each other. First pair will jettison about uh, two minutes, four seconds, and then two minutes, seven seconds into the flight. That second pair will jettison as that first stage continues to carry the HTV uh, up into orbit. That first stage will burn for a total of five minutes and 47 seconds. And when the vehicle is at a fair enough altitude, uh, at about 3 minutes 40 seconds, the fairing itself will jettison and reveal the HTV vehicle underneath. Here's a nice uh, countdown of the flight sequence. Again, 5 minutes 47 seconds is when that first stage will cut off. It'll enter a short coast period of about 7 seconds before that first stage separates from the vehicle. The second stage ignites just after 6 minutes into the flight and carries it for uh, another 8 minutes and 19 seconds. Now after the second stage cuts off, uh, there will be another short coast period before that second stage physically separates from the HTV vehicle, and that separation occurring just, just about 15 minutes after liftoff. Everything's still on track, 10 seconds to launch. Getting a good view of the engine underneath, now igniting. D0 and liftoff of the HTV-8 and the H-2B rocket carrying its way. Four, four tons of cargo to the International Space Station. Lighting up the night sky over southern Japan. Everything looking good through the flight so far. Those four strap-on solid rocket boosters will carry the vehicle through the first 1 minute 54 seconds of the launch. Following lift off, 
The operation control of the launch vehicle has been switched from the blockhouse to the range control center. Now, one minute into the flight. Twenty more seconds before those solid rocket boosters burn out. Everything looking good so far. The vehicle itself uh, heading towards the southeast to get in the right phasing to meet up with the International Space Station. You can see the solid rocket boosters uh, beginning to burn out. We should see them separate in pairs. Coming up here in just a few seconds. There's the first pair of solid rocket boosters separating. And the second pair. Now that core stage will continue to burn until 5 minutes 47 seconds into the flight, burning liquid fuel, liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. Switching to animation right after the burnout of that first stage. And confirmation that that first stage did successfully cut off, second stage burning now. This second stage will burn for well over 8 minutes, 8 minutes 19 seconds. Second stage has cut off, now just waiting for confirmation of physical separation between the HTV and the second stage. and confirmation of separation.